Hey guys, so for today's video, we're gonna be going over this base makeup look. These are my current favorite products that I literally cannot stop using on my face. I use them every day, so I wanted to just put all this together into one video. If you wanna check out any of the products that I use today, they're gonna to be linked all together under one shoppable link. I'm partnering with Sophie for this, and it's really cool because you guys can actually shop the products as you're watching this video, and it's gonna make it easier for you guys to shop the products instead of clicking on like each individual link. Everything I use today is just on one page. I'm gonna leave the link on the screen right here and also at the top of the description box and you guys can get free shipping on any products that I used in this video. So you can actually click on the link now to shop as you're watching this video or you can click later. It's up to you. <laughs> All right, so let's get into my current favorite base makeup routine. All right, so for today, we're talking about everything base makeup, pretty much everything except eyeshadow, just because my channel is so focused on eyeshadow. And today, I just wanna do the opposite. I'm talking about my current favorite base products, so my eyebrows, what primer I use, foundation, concealer, contour, all of that good stuff, because I really don't talk about that in like my regular eyeshadow videos, so I wanted to make this kind of like designated video, and because I'm just loving the products I've been using recently, so I just wanna talk about them. So I have nothing on my face right now. I did my skincare couple hours ago, but I'm gonna start with a lip mask. So this is new from Sigma. It's the Hydro Melt Lip Mask, and this thing is amazing. They came out with four colors. I'm using like the nude color, it's called Hush. It just looks like this. You can use your finger to apply it, but they do have this little spatula tool that I like. So I just take some and put that on my lips. This product just feels so good on your lips, and by the time I'm done with my makeup and doing my lips last, my lips are super hydrated and ready to go. So I've been loving this recently. So the next in my routine, I do my eyebrows, and I use two products for that, one being a brow pen and one being a brow pencil. So I'm gonna start with the Anastasia Brow Pen in Medium Brown. All right, so this is my brows with nothing on them. I naturally have really thick brows, and I have some old microblading. I don't know, it's been like three years or so, but... This is what I work with. All right, so I just take my brow pen and I usually just work in the front of my brow doing little strokes up in here. Sorry, I think that was out of focus. So I just do a couple strokes up front and then I brush my brows down and I kind of do the top of this arch right here. So again, just little strokes. And then I do slightly extend my brow. And then just using my spoolie, brushing them back up. And then for my brow pencil, surprisingly, I've been loving this one by Rare Beauty. If you've watched my channel, you know for the last five years, I've been using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. Um, this got sent to me and I ended up using it one day and I like it a lot more than I thought I would. So one side is kind of a thicker brow pencil here and then the other side is a little gel that I will use later on. So I'm using the shade Deep Brown and I don't even like line my brows with this. I just lightly kind of fill in everything. I'm kind of over doing that full like lining the brow technique. So I just kind of fill in a lot of the top of my brow here because my microblading is pretty faded and then a little towards the tail and that's kind of it. And then again, I take my spoolie, just kind of brush through everything. The one thing I don't like about this product is that there's no spoolie because the other end is a gel, so I just have to use a separate brush, but I mean, it's not a huge deal. I don't even know if you can tell the difference, but this brow's done and this brow's not. Like, it's a very, very subtle difference. All right, so let me do the other one. And then if I do make like any little mistake, I just clean that up with concealer but I don't really like outline my whole brow like I used to. And that is it for the brows, super easy. I used to spend so long trying to like align my brows, do all this, carve it with concealer, but this takes me like two minutes now. I love it. Let's move on to foundation. So personally, I no longer use like typical primers. I now use some kind of skincare item as my primer. So here's three that I've been liking. One being the Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm. I also like the Glow Recipe Plum Pump Hyaluronic Serum. I thought the name was Plum Plum for a while. It's Plum Pump. And then also the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. Pretty much, I just want my skin to be nice and hydrated and glowy underneath my foundation. I think today I'm gonna use the Laneige one. If you're someone who does your skincare like right before your foundation, you could probably skip this step because your skin's probably already nice and hydrated. But like I said, I did my skincare a couple hours ago. So that's why I add this step in. Now it's time for foundation and pretty much like the whole reason why I wanted to make this video. 
I love the new NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I cannot get enough of this. I'm gonna use the shade Light 4 DeVille and just shake it up a little bit. I do about like three pumps on the back of my hand. And for this foundation, they recommend to use your finger to apply it, but I use my finger more to like just dot it around my face and then I blend it out with the brush. I find that a sponge does not work well for this foundation. So I just kind of smear it around my face. I'm not really like blending it in, but I'm getting like just most of it on. Yeah, then I'm gonna take my favorite foundation brush. It's actually the Sigma Concealer Kabuki brush. It's the F79, but I like this one for foundation. It's so easy to do like little circular motions and just blend it in with this. But then in case you didn't know, I do have more just like normal to dry skin. I'm not combination, I don't get oily, so normal to dry. But what I love about this is that it's so lightweight on your skin, but still gives really good coverage. Like you guys saw all that redness on my face and it just like, it looks like skin. It's freaking beautiful. Then I just take whatever's left on my brush, bring that across my eyelids just to cover any like discoloration. It just looks so freaking good and glowy, especially with that glowy makeup serum underneath it. Love it. And then sometimes I do a little spot concealing on top. I like the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I'm using Custard. Mostly kind of like right here. I was picking on my face earlier. It happens, but this coverage is amazing. All right, now my skin looks super flawless, but not cakey at all. Let's do under eye concealer. I've just been obsessed with the Anastasia Magic Touch Concealer. Like, again, I don't wanna use anything else. I have like 10 concealers here, but I just keep using this one. And I'm using the shade four. To me, this concealer is kind of like a lighter weight version of Shape Tape. And I was such a big Shape Tape fan but it's so heavy and this one is not. It's beautiful. Now I'm gonna use a brush to blend it out. I'm gonna use the Sigma Soft Blend Concealer. This is the F64. I love this concealer brush. It's just so fluffy and so easy just to get right in here and blend. I love it. I feel like I go through phases with makeup sponges. Like I love the Real Technique sponge and that's like my go-to sponge. But sometimes I just switch to brushes. I don't know. All right, now I'm gonna set the creases of my eye. I know that so many concealers claim to be creaseless, but if you have creases in your eye, your concealer is gonna crease. That's life. So I'm gonna take my go-to all-time favorite translucent powder. It's the RCMA one, amazing. And I'm gonna take a really dense brush. This is a Sigma E50. And I literally just dip the brush in here, tap off the excess. You don't need like that much, but get your brush coated. And I'm just gonna press this powder right here under my eyes. I'm not doing my whole under eye just yet because I am gonna use cream products, but I just wanna make sure that this area is set. This is the only powder I have used under my eyes <laughs> for years. Like, this powder's so good. I feel like nobody talks about it. And it's relatively cheap. The packaging's kind of annoying, but you get over it because the powder's so amazing. I'm also gonna set my lid too. Same exact technique. I'm not gonna wear eyeshadow today, but I still want this to be set or else my concealer will crease and move around or like my mascara will transfer on it and that's just not fun. All right, now my concealer is set. My face is still glowy. Let's do a cream contour. I know this is out of stock everywhere and everyone in the world on TikTok and their grandma is using this, but it's amazing. I fell back in love with it and I can't stop using it. See Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood contour wand. But a decent alternative that I used the other day is the Huda Beauty Tan Tour. These are very, very pigmented contours, but it's super creamy, easy to blend out, but I'm gonna use this one today. I'm gonna tuck this bit of my hair back so I have access to my cheekbones and I just kind of go for it right here and I still contour underneath my cheekbones I know that people are contouring and blushing in such different places but this is what I like on my face I also like a little here and my chin kind of go I like to try to make my chin a little shorter so I kind of go like up here I think it works, I don't know. Now I like to use a small brush to blend this out. I'm using the Practic Concealer Brush. I guess it's actually a pretty similar shape to this one I was just using. Hmm. But Practic is Sigma's sister brand, so they're very inexpensive brushes, but very good quality. And I'm gonna use this one. So I'm gonna start here and just softly blend. And I kind of jump back and forth on the areas of my face before I like completely blend out an area just to get more product on my brush. Blend this up into the hairline. I got a big forehead. All 
After that's mostly blended out, I'm gonna go back to my foundation brush and kind of soften the edges. Now we're gonna go in with cream blush and I have a couple that I've been like rotating with. First is the Rare Beauty Melting Blush in Nearly Neutral. Freaking love this thing, love the formula. I need more colors. Also the Melt Cosmetics Blush Light in Honey Thief. Such a beautiful peachy shade if I wanna be like kind of brighter. And also the Fenty Beauty Cream Blushes. I just grabbed this one out of my drawer and I haven't used it in a while. It's Rose Latte. I kinda wanna try this one. I know it looks dark and scary. But let's do it. But I just love all three of these cream formulas. I think they're so easy to work with because a lot of the cream blushes I've used before like will pick up my foundation and will move things around and that's not what you want. So I'm gonna use the same brush that I used for my cream contour and pick some of this up and we're gonna blush. And then again, using my foundation brush just around the edges here. I think I want a little more pop like right on the apples of my cheeks. So I am gonna go in with that Melt Cosmetics Honey Thief. And then for highlight, I like to do something pretty soft. I'm kind of over the blinding highlight trends. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I've got a little mini one. And I'm using the shade Too Fair. Just gonna pop a little on there. There. And then I'm gonna take my concealer brush, the Sigma one, and blend that out. See how pretty that is? All my cream products are on my face now. Let's do a little bit of setting. So I'm gonna take the Kosa's Cloud Set Powder and I'm gonna use a Sigma F37. It's kind of just a little fluffy brush. And I'm gonna set the center of my forehead, my entire nose, because my makeup likes to come off my nose, chin above my lip and kind of right here on the apples of my cheeks. This powder is super lightweight. It still lets your skin kind of glow a little bit. I just love it, I can't stop using it. Okay, and those are the products I'm using on my face 98% of the time right now. And what I'm gonna do now is add just a little more blush. I love the cream blushes, but sometimes I just want a little more pop, so I go on top of that with the powder blush. And I've really been liking these blushes from ColourPop from their Valentine's Day collection. I don't know if you can still get them. I told you guys I'd be using them, and I am, because they're amazing. I'm gonna take the shade Let's Dance, and I'm using a Sigma Chisel Cheek F76. Taking a little bit of that, kind of right here. Now that my face is set with that Kosas powder, I can add this little bit of powder blush if I want it. I'm also gonna bring that over my nose too. I just feel like blush always fades so fast, so I feel like I gotta use kind of a lot of it. All right, that is it for the base makeup. I'm gonna go pop on like a tiny bit of eyeshadow and some lashes and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I popped on a little bit of eyeshadow and some lashes. I'm wearing my brand, The Bright Lashes in the style Angela. Super cute, big lashes. I love these. I did do my lips as well off camera. I've been loving MAC Whirl Lip Liner. I've just been using it with everything. I did use a different lipstick than I normally use though, and I use Charlotte Tilbury Bitch Perfect. This lipstick is gorgeous, kind of more of like a peachier nude color. And then I went on top of that with the Sigma Lip Gloss in Brilliance. And then for my very last makeup step, I'm gonna go back to my Rare Beauty Brow Pencil and I'm gonna take that little gel side and I just use this on top of my brows just to kind of lay them down. I'm not really brushing them up, but what I like about this product is that it has a tiny bit of pigment in there, but it also kind of helps get rid of any like eyeshadow that may have gotten in my eyebrows. And I just like this for a little final touch. Like, can you see a difference? Probably not, but in my brain, it's doing something. And this will kind of like tint the hairs as well, so. I just love this brow product. All right, then my last step is some sort of setting spray. I still use Urban Decay All Nighter all the time. It's one of my go-tos, but today I want something a little more glowy, so I'm gonna use the Pixi Glow Mist. This one is awesome, and it's inexpensive. Drugstore, smells amazing. Mm, 
and does give like a little bit of a glow. All right, and that is it for my current go-to base makeup routine. I love how this looks. It's glowy, it's really lightweight, it's not cakey, it's just so pretty. Again, all the products I use today are going to be linked all together into one cute little shoppable link from Sophie. So that way all the products I use today are together on one shoppable page. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.